one, the Connecticut Hunter Funeral Home. The Connecticut Home was built in 1916 in the United States of America. The hunting which took place in the Connecticut is about a true life story that happened to the family of Carmen Seneca in 1992. This family lived in fear of what could happen to them next. No one visited them in the house as they were haunted by a ghost. Bradley heard his name from the basement and went down the stairs to check. As he went down the basement, he heard loud screams and cries coming from the basement. When Red Seneca observed her home was haunted, she reported to the owner of the house who threatened she would lose her money on the first train deposit of the house if she wants to vacate his house. They had no other option than to remain in the house. After they moved in, Bradley Seneca observes a mysterious door in the house. When he came closer, he observed blood draining down the pit. In another room, that is where the coffin lifts were placed. At this time, Bradley opened the door and found some headstones, foot stones, body leaves, and other items. It then dawned on him they were living by the mortuary. The Seneca family moved out of the house after six years of the mysterious Connecticut Hunter funeral home to Nigeria. This video you are about to see is a video captured by a CCTV camera somewhere in Nigeria. The video reveals a young boy jump down the fence. At the end of this video, we'll find out if actually this creature here is a boy or a ghost who came to hunt the occupants of the house. What in God's name is going on here? This creature seems confused about the mission it was sent, as I thought. What will a ghost be doing peeping through the window? What will a ghost be doing checking through the backyard of this house? What is the mission of this ghost or this boy? As I wondered, I began to think deeply what could this ghost be doing in this house. At this point, I began to wonder what will a ghost be doing with a bicycle? Could it be his mission was to torment the owners of these bicycles? Strange things are really happening in this part of the earth. Can this actually be a ghost. This ghost disappeared with a bicycle. Or should I say, this boy disappeared with a bicycle and reappeared to take the other bicycle, as we have seen in this video. Or is this an act of voodoo practice? Could this really be a ghost? I would like to receive your comments if you know actually where this happened. 3. Kunden Bag Another interesting story is the Kunden Bag located in Hyderabad, India. History has it that a family which consists of the mother and two daughters were haunted by a ghost. In this house, a mother and her two daughters were found dead for almost six months by a thief after their father left the house and never returned. The family who lived here never interacted with nobody. For this reason, no one really cared about them. When they were attacked by the ghost, no one knew till the day a thief entered the house with the plans to loot the family. Unfortunately for him, he found the family lying dead as the family was haunted by a ghost who occupied this house since 2002. No one dares to enter this house because this house is a threat. 4. Banger Fort Banger Fort was built in the 17th century in Rajasthan, India. Banga Fort is famous for being the most haunted place in India. At the time of this paranormal happenings, 
Indians and tourists were forbidden from entering this place, mostly at night as it carries a negative aura. History has it that Bangor Fort Haunted Place has different sides of the story. Some believed the story is real, while others say it's a folk tale. Nevertheless, some narrate the story saying the servant to the Bengal house was sent on an errand. On her way back, the lotion she bought has a spell casted on it, which is supposed to make her fall in love with the magician. The reverse was the case as the magician laid a curse on the land before his death. Since then, no one lived here in peace. All the stories linking to this mysterious place never ended well as the whole landscape around the Bangor Fort has been haunted. Since then, the magician spirit never rested. Bangor Fort is also known or called Japo according to some history to this place. It is believed that the ghosts roam here at night and numerous strange cries and noises are heard from this place till the next morning. Let's find out what happened to this place next as we continue to watch and listen Another story has it that the country area was densely populated. People moved to other parts of the country except the banger. Thus made the youths at that time very curious. They went on an investigation. When the youths investigated this, they got to know that their forefathers used to hide gold and ornaments in the walls of this house. According to history, the locals believed Bangor was originally Jaipur as I have mentioned earlier in this video. There are several stories as we check the history believing that these paranormal activities actually took place here. The history of this place reveals that Bangor Ford was demolished. 